Today I'm here with Jamie Page from the Cancer Prevention and Education Society and we're going to have a look at Jamie's perspective on things. Could you give us some idea of the scale of the um, number of chemicals that have been released into the environment? Okay, well probably on the market there are something like 80,000 to 100,000 chemicals. The issue is uh, only a handful, about 200, have been tested for carcinogenicity. Now if we think disease process is more complex than just being a carcinogen. Uh, for example, endocrine disrupting, sometimes called gender bending. If, if we're to test for all of those things, those things have never been tested. So there may be many, many substances, the vast majority, may be, may be harmful that have never been tested, but more importantly evaluated by the regulators. Because if the companies that produce and say we've done the tests, the important thing is that the, the results of those tests are submitted to an independent uh, neutral regulatory authority who evaluates the data and says yes this is this product is safe based on the latest science not old toxicology tests which are obsolete now on the latest science so this is a challenge for regulators because the science is moving so fast they need to make sure that um, the products they're approving are, are being evaluated using the latest techniques and, and, and knowledge that we have. Is there a particular cause for concern with any beauty products? Okay. Well, if you take um, a typical beauty product on the market and you look carefully at the ingredients which are listed on the back, you can see tens, twenties of numbers of products. So that's already kind of flagging up a bit of concern, I think, if, if I was a consumer buying those things. Um, the second thing is, is that the idea that you put all these things in vast quantities on your skin on a daily basis or under your armpits or wherever, and, uh, and dermal absorption we know is a route of um, entry for chemicals into the body and, and quite serious too, it's, it's almost worse than eating something because it, doesn't, it isn't immediately processed by the liver whereas anything you eat goes straight to the liver via the hepatic portal vein. So um, I think consumers need to be careful about what they're buying and they should check out things and there is in fact a, a, a database produced by the environmental working group um, called Skin Deep and there you can look up uh, the manufacturer, um, the product or even the chemical and get, get, a, get a list. Are there any chemicals in particular that you think we should look out for? Well in, con in beauty products, there have some that have been flagged up, um, uh, things that have the scientists sort of debating and discussing. It's, um, so, for example, we have things like phthalates, which I mentioned, uh, parabens, uh, triclosan, certain UV filters to stop su sunlight on, uh, uh, on your skin, aluminium, th those would be some examples. Consumers need to be aware that not everything on the market has been properly regulated. That's a very important thing.